What a marvelous journey. Heaven letter number 4821. February 5, 2014. With all my heart, I want you to know how loved you are, how blessed you are, how you are my one beloved. Often I call you my child, my child of love. You are my child, and you are under my love, not merely my domination. And this is where free will comes into play. It is not wholly that you are left to your own devices. Guardian angels, who are beautiful rays of my energy, watch over you, stubborn you, who think you are on one journey when you are really on another. Surely, your journey is more than making a living, more than finding your fortune on earth, more than building a house, more than what is called success. To live for the material world alone bores a hole in your heart, and you feel emptiness. All the gold of the world is not enough. All the accumulation of even knowledge is not enough. Now listen carefully, nor are the blessings of the world at large to be turned away from. You do not have to deny them. Only they are not your sole reason for being. You are more than material. You are also soul. Look, you climb the hill you are on. You yearn to reach the top. As you climb, you eat the berries you find on your way. If the hill you climb has a railing that helps you up, you do not refuse it because it is less than your ultimate goal. You are not so high and mighty that you wouldn't choose the railing or eat the berries along the way. You are, in fact, humble. If there are road signs along the hill you climb, you read them. If someone reaches down to help you up, you accept. No one has to offer you his hand. You however, will offer your hand to others. Others might be called the sirens as in Greek drama. The sirens wish to delay the adventurers on their journey. You keep climbing. You keep your eye on the target, however, and nothing dissuades you. You are a great adventurer in this journey of life you take. You may sometimes feel you are not getting anywhere. There are clouds that may surround you so you are not yet able to see how high and how far you have climbed. In that case, you may well be blind on your journey, yet there is more to see by than your eyesight. There is insight. From seeker you become seer. In the dramas, the ones with the greatest vision were the blind ones, for they had no choice but to develop their vision, or wisdom, from the inside. I have said that all is known and you know it. So those with the greatest vision and wisdom have peeled away the clouds that blocked them from their awareness, or they simply started to see through the clouds. The mind interprets what the eye has seen. We can say that all sight is hindsight because there never was a time you did not know it all, all along. It is like you had a huge library full of books, and you had not opened the door to the library. Finally, the door to this great library full of books opened itself to you, and you walked in, and there you are, in the glorious sunshine of all knowingness. You had reached the top of the hill. In fact, you had been climbing in place all the while. You were exercising on a treadmill of life and you churned your legs until finally, the sun came out, and it dawned on you that you had always been at the top of the hill. The climb was illusion. You did not have to climb. And, yet, there was great merit in your climbing. When you recognized that you were at the summit, you could look down and then look up and say, What a marvelous journey I have been on. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org